Hi traders and welcome to today's ACY Securities Fox Market Analysis. My name is Duncan Cooper and I will be your host. Today we'll be focusing on the dollar index and the euro to US dollar. So first we'll look at the news items coming out for the day and then we'll have a look at the charts. So first I just want to review the news items coming out for the week about FinLogic looking at their economic calendar. Just want to filter the high news items only. And time's showing our coins in time. So I'm reviewing the euro or US dollar today, so I just want to see what can affect that particular pair throughout the week. So today we do have the German business climate coming out at six o'clock. That could affect the euro or US dollar. Into Thursday, the German consumer confidence and the US durable goods orders. Those two items could affect the euro or US dollar. And into Friday, we've got the US personal spending and personal income coming out. So again, those two items could affect the euro US dollar. So just make note of those. Okay, so let's move into the charts. And first up, we'll have a look at the dollar index. Okay, so I'm on the monthly chart. I did review this last week, so I just wanted to touch base with it. So on the monthly chart, we've been holding at old resistance highs back from 2009 and 2008. They're at uh, 88.71 and 89.62 and nothing's much changed we're still holding on these levels so I'll just move through the time frames on the weekly we can see that maybe we're putting in a double bottom here and I'll be discussing that on the euro US dollar today and moving to the daily we can see for the last week we've just been having a day up day down day up day down sitting on top of this level of support and notably on the four hour chart, I have noted that we have a little bit of positive divergence showing as we've been consolidating here. So maybe we are putting in a final bottom, time will tell. Now if we do put in a bottom and move up, that's going to be positive for the US dollar and negative for pairs to the US dollar. Okay, so with that thought in mind, let's move to the Euro US dollar and do a full top down analysis. Okay, starting on the monthly chart, I've already drawn in monthly resistance and I'm coming all the way back from 2008. So there's a low here at 123.29 and we can see that we did hold here back in 2018. And once again, when we put in this top here, we held just there. Now the trend on the monthly chart is up. We've got a higher top, higher bottom, higher top, a further higher bottom moving up. And we may well test this level, who, who knows? So the monthly trend is up, we're heading toward resistance. And the MACD is not telling us anything other than the trend is up here. So down to the weekly. And this is where it gets interesting. So from a trend perspective, we've put in a lower top, moved down to a lower bottom, and last week we did test that top. So maybe we've got a double top forming here. Okay, this forms all, all my analysis here. Is this a double top on the weekly chart? What I can see is that the MACD is telling me that we did have some negative divergence on this final run up here before we pull back. Let's put in resistance. So weekly resistance is up here at 122.43. I like to put in the exact numbers. Uh, weekly support is all the way down here. That's at 117.04. Okay, so that's the support and resistance for the weekly chart. As I was saying, we have a lower top moving down to a lower low, and we've been coming all the way back up to retest that top. So maybe we have a double top on the weekly there. Let's move down to the daily. On the daily, we've been consolidating much like the dollar index. So let's just assess the trend. We've been moving up from a lower point just to a higher high, higher low to a higher high, testing that weekly resistance there. Okay, and the MACD is just in trend. So we are, we are seeing an uptrend on the day chart. Nothing is telling us 
just yet that we've got a change in trend coming. Let's put in our support and resistance. I'll put in support for the moment. So this high old resistance becomes support at 120.181. And that has been holding a support. If we move further down, this next top here will be support. That's at 121.50. And if we move through there, next support will be down at this low here at 120.51. Okay, and daily resistance is last week's high up here at 122.45, which is almost the same as this level, so I won't draw, bother drawing that in for the moment. So on the daily, just to review, moving up to a higher top, higher bottom, another higher top, but we're hitting into weekly resistance, so is there a double top forming here? Since we've touched that level, we've been consolidating. We've been having a day down, day up, day down, day up. Okay, so maybe we're just holding there, we're either going to move through to retest monthly resistance or we're going to fail here. We might see a nice decline down, all the way down maybe to test this weekly support down here. Time will tell. So I'm just being sitting on the sidelines waiting to see if this can reverse back down. So let's move down, down to the four hour chart. And what are we seeing? Well, I'm seeing that we're just consolidating. This is that daily support that we're holding above we just keep dipping down and then moving back above dipping down moving back above so we've got equal lows pretty much here a slightly higher bottom just there so moving from the top we've moved down to a higher bottom lower top higher bottom this is maybe putting in a lower top so it's a little bit mixed but we are starting to get a series maybe of lower tops and this might break down over time okay so just putting in four hour support, I'm going to use this low here. That's at 120.160. I like to put in the exact number. And as these two tops are very close to the 122.43 resistance level, I'll just leave it as it is. But we are in a range there, moving down, moving back up, moving down, moving back up. Now, whilst we're in a range in terms of price action, what I'm seeing on the indicator is there has been some negative MACD divergence to this move up here. Okay. So, with that in mind, it is giving you a bit of a sign that it might be changing its trend on the four hour chart, and then it might then change the trend to the daily chart. So at the moment, I am on the sidelines. We are still just holding above the 122 figure level. If we could break down below that level and then move back up and test 122 and that becomes resistance, that would be great. So for me at the moment, because it's in a range, and it's not really establishing a downtrend yet. I'd like to see a downtrend established. So I'd like to see price break through this area of support. Then come back up, hopefully retest 122. And at that level, I'll be looking for an opportunity to sell on a lower time frame with a further move down. So if it does break down, like I'm showing you, I'll be drawing a fib in to watch the rally back up. If we can rally back up to the 62 level or the 79% level of that move down, then I'll be looking on a lower time frame to get in for, for the move down. And hopefully then that starts to confirm the weekly double top. So if we move back to, let me just draw, so I take these off, clear things up a bit. If we move back to the weekly chart for a moment, okay. And uh, if I draw a fib in from this high to the low, 
then you know if we can get in and sell here around about 122 you could if you want to be a position trader putting your stop at 123 just taking profits down at weekly support which is at 117 would give you a risk reward of one to five okay so that would be an excellent risk reward trade if you could get in so as i say i'm going to monitor the four hour chart see if price can break down and then sell a rally and then over the long term try to target the weekly support level here at 117. okay so that's my analysis for today and i look forward to seeing you next time